Generation 1 Transformer Review, Autobot Jazz. Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Jazz's tech spec. Function, Special Operations Agent. Quote, do it with style or don't bother doing it. Jazz loves Earth culture and always is looking to learn more. His knowledge of Earth makes him the indispensable right-hand man to Optimus Prime. He takes the most dangerous missions. He's very cool, very stylish, but also very competent. Jazz is equipped with a photon rifle, a flamethrower, a full-spectrum beacon, and 180 decibel stereo speakers. He can create dazzling, disorienting sound and light shows. Jazz is versatile, clever, and daring, but he is prone to be distracted. Jazz is rated a 5 in strength, a 9 in intelligence, a 7 in speed, a 7 in endurance, an 8 in rank, a 9 in courage, a 5 in firepower, and a 10 in skill. This gives Jazz an overall rating of 7.5. Okay, now it's time for the official review of the Generation 1 Transformer Jazz action figure. He's also known as Meister in Japan. Before we start off, let's see what you get when you purchase a Generation 1 Jazz action figure. Well, I don't have the box or the instructions, so we'll start off with the sticker sheet. And I actually got the Japanese stickers because I like him better as Meister than Jazz, but we're going to call him Jazz because that's what he's known as in the English-speaking cartoon. When you start with Jazz, you get this little backpack that goes on his back, and it attaches to here to hold his rocket launcher. And this rocket launcher will hold one of his projectiles and if I can get it in let's try a different one that one has a little bit of plastic on it you see it fires you gotta be careful you don't want to break a spring or lose one of these things so use it with caution you also get two more projectiles and you get a gun that goes in his hand either one left or right and here's Jazz, the action figure himself. Before we look at him, let's put his weapons on. Gun in, I put in the left hand of Jazz. And this goes on the back. And I have some issues with it sometimes, so if you have any suggestions how to get it to stay in there well, please post it in the comments section. Give me some tips. Okay, there you go. Stands nicely. He looks really nice as a robot. We'll come in close. You see his feet. His head, his face looks like the Generation 1 cartoon. I love it. Gun in the hand. Go around the back to the side. You see the rocket launcher. It looks really nice. Let's turn him around. The doors are open as his wings. See his spoiler down there. He looks really nice in robot form. That's how I display him. I choose not to display him in car form. Even though he looks pretty good in car form, still think he looks better as a robot. And if you look, you see his rub symbol there. All the stickers are on. I do sometimes have a hard time standing him. He likes to lean forward or lean back. But when you do get him steady like that, if you see, he is lined up very well straight. Okay. Now let's transform in, in the car mode. Here's where I have a problem with Jazz. It's very difficult to transform. I would even say he's harder than Prowl, who I consider one of the hardest ones to transform. Okay, let's take off his back cannon and his gun from his hand. Okay, now, bear with me as I do this, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Okay, where do we even start with this guy? If you don't have the instructions, have fun. Okay. We got that flipped up. Okay. Looks good to me so far. But wait, his hands have to go down there somehow. So wait, we got to go back, put his arms in. And I hate doing this. Be 
because he's just like Prow where the arms go underneath the hood and you have to get them in just right or else it won't fit and then they have these little pegs where the hands have to hold on to okay we seem to have it in pretty good we'll see about that when we go to transform him okay and now is where the issues begin I can't get it to shut I had it before when the hands weren't there but now that they're there Jazz does not like to shut We might have it like this, okay. Put those hands in there. I'm a perfectionist somewhat, <laughs> so I like to have them in the posts. I think I might have got it. This is amazing if I did. Okay, windows down. Did I speak too soon? Pull this out a little bit. Yep, there we go. Okay, it's amazing. I did it. Okay, he rolls really nicely, and he looks pretty good. Like I said, in car mode, he, he's not in any way um, a bad-looking car. I just prefer him in robot mode. I think some of the other cars look better. Wheeljack, for example. Um, side swipe. I think they look better in vehicle mode. Okay. I'm coming close. You see the, he has quite a big spoiler on the back. He's number four. You see the rub symbol on the front of the car. What about symbol on the front? Nice rubber tires. The doors do open. Both of them. You see it from the back. Spoiler. Rolls relatively nicely. Nice sun strip across the front. I have some sound effects because I'm so happy that I transformed this guy. You don't even know. Okay, we'll zoom in there. And I'll leave you with this nice shot of Generation 1 Jazz. Please stay tuned so you can hear my final thoughts on this action figure and see the pros and the cons I have about the toy itself. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Jazz toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to start off by saying that Jazz's action figure looks a lot like the Generation 1 cartoon Jazz. To me, that's the most important thing of a Transformer action figure when I review them. Um, the ones that resemble their cartoon counterparts always score higher with me. Um, I really like that Jazz looks great in vehicle mode as a Porsche she looks fantastic the spoiler the um, just the detail on the stickers the tires are really neat he rolls well he, it, the overall looks of the vehicle mode though I, he's fantastic um, as far as cons go with Jazz there's quite a few uh, his transformation is pretty difficult he's one of those cars that like I just do not enjoy transforming when I get them, yeah, it's almost a burden to me to have to put them from robot mode into car mode and vice versa. Uh, his shoulder cannon is horrible. It's one of the worst weapons I have on any Transformer. It's really delicate. It can pop off easily. Um, I've tried watching videos to see if maybe I'm not hooking it up right, but apparently I am, and it's just, just not the best the most, I, I should say, it's not the most secure weapon of any Transformer. And finally, uh, Jazz doesn't stand that well when he's in robot form. He can kind of waver backwards and forwards a lot. It's not that he falls over, but he doesn't stand up perfectly straight. And I get a little obsessive compulsive when it comes to my guys standing the way I want them to. So this guy, it's, it can be difficult to get him to be in the perfect position you want. But when you do, he does look very good. It's just getting him in that position can be um, somewhat bothersome. Okay, 
I really hope you enjoyed this review on Generation 1 Jazz. Uh, if you would be so kind, you could leave some comments in my comment section or subscribe to my YouTube channel or become my friend on YouTube. Any of that stuff is cool because you know that any kind of response I get from you guys makes me want to continue to make these Generation 1 reviews. Thank you.